continue rising here in the metro and along the state's eastern edge, we've got more communities now declaring a state of emergency. Both the St. Croix and Mississippi rivers, they're expected to crest yet this weekend, meaning flood conditions along those waterways, they're only going to get worse. Our Rob Olson joins us live tonight from Afton, where the St. Croix is still climbing, isn't it, Rob? Yeah, it is, Tim. In fact, it's got another about a half a foot to come up. The crest here now pushed back until Monday, and the predictions are after that it's going to come down very, very slowly. This is very much uh, dissimilar, very different from springtime flooding after the snow melt where everything comes in fast and goes away fast. It's been slowly, steadily rising. We'll go down just as slowly. And, of course, you know what next week is. It's typically a very, very busy time out here on the river the 4th of July weekend this couldn't come at a worse time well, it's a ghost town right now the St. Croix River has been no wake most of June and now for the past 10 days steadily rising in this week going right up and around the windmill marina in Afton once again flooding out their bottom floor and it put their ramps out of commission days ago launch ramp we shut that down Monday uh, we just turned the fuel off today. On Friday, they decided to close up the business entirely right as they head into their most lucrative time of the year, the 4th of July holiday. Busiest week of the year. Before now, they say they've only seen it this bad during springtime floods before they get busy, not right when they become their busiest. In the 20 years I've worked here, I've never seen it this high this time of year. I've seen no wake over the 4th of July, but never to the point where we have to shut down the marina. Further north on the St. Croix, Stillwater already canceled their 4th of July fireworks. The river will be cresting Monday, but slow coming down well past the holiday. On the Mississippi River in St. Paul, the flood wall at Holman Field went up earlier this week, the eighth time it's been deployed since they installed it in 2008. The expected crest here this weekend will be about a foot below the wall. Over on Harriet Island, most of that went underwater days ago, but the Mississippi is expected to drop a little quicker, predicted to come down some seven feet by next Friday. But future events here do remain in question for now. Back at Windmill Marina, the predicted St. Croix drop is a lot slower. Back into business, hopefully people launching, I'm guessing about two weeks. Nothing to do now here, but wait. Uh, we just hope for a good second half of the season. Yeah, I've been out here uh, the 4th of July weekend. It is typically very, very busy. Uh, it won't be this year. There's still some boats that can get out, the ones that have slips, but you might have to drive or wade through water to get too many of them. Again, it remains no wake with some debris in the water. Haven't seen a lot of that, but that's the warning as well. Uh, again, a very difficult time. They got about 15 to 20 employees at Windmill Marina that right now can't work at all because there's nothing to do and they closed down. Live in Afton, Rob Olson, Fox 9. All right, Rob. Well